During hot, dry days of summer, you can almost sit and watch sugarcane grow. The crop, which experienced about a year's worth of rain in the first six months of 2015, is bouncing back from bad weather, according to LSU Ag Center sugarcane specialist Kenneth Gravois. We're in what we call the grand growth phase. So with these hot, hot nights, hot days, our crop is growing about an inch per day. That's a lot of growth on a, on a, on a crop. The disease rust hasn't been much of an issue on this year's crop thanks to the cold winter. But freezing temperatures didn't kill off the number one pest in sugarcane, the sugarcane borer. Entomologist Julian Buzelin said all growers should be on the lookout for the insect, and growers in the southwest should watch for its relative, the Mexican rice borer. You can use the pheromone traps to have an idea of the population dynamics, which may help better time insecticide applications. The entomologist is testing electronic traps that can record the number of insects that come into the trap and transmit the data. Growers would be able to track the trap catches from their computers. Growers who have an issue with borers can choose varieties that are less susceptible to the pest. Sugarcane breeder Michael Pontiff said the variety HOCP00950 is the most vulnerable to the insect. Being the sweetest variety, the sugarcane borers tend to find it. It has a softer rind or a softer stalk, so they have an easier time to uh, bore into it. Sugarcane growers also need to be aware of a new weed, the eastern black nightshade, which is showing up in fields. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.